Hi ladies. We will see how this goes. There are <laughs> my traveler's notebooks. And I have 11. I will eventually have 12 because I have to find a B6. And I thought, well, Sunday's a good day to do a little rambling about all of my traveler's notebooks and how I'm using them. But since I use them for different journaling things, I also wanted to show what else I journal in so that you can see. This is a mini happy planner. And I do journal. Um, this is something I save. It's just like a diary almost. All I do is I, uh, and I won't be doing this next year. I'll be doing it in something else, I think. But this year, I did it here, and I just do a few lines each day of what, you know, goes on during the day. And this actually is going to go through December of next year, so I'll be using this for a long time. This one um, is a B6 that I'm journaling in. I prepped all the pages, watercolor backgrounds, and I have been just journaling randomly. It's just a random journal. Really. I just, maybe if I'm thinking through something or remembering something, um, I just write it in here. Um, this is the same type of journal. I just write different things in it. Um, a lot of times on a Sunday morning, I like to write in here. So that's what I've been doing in this one. I also have, and I got this one from my friend Priya in India. And this is morning pages, and I got this journal from my friend Helena in um, Sweden. No, wait, oops, sweet German, Sweden, I think. <laughs> that terrible. Anyway, I love this thing. Look at it. Very small graphics, and I've been using this for my morning pages. And I started out decorating it, and then I was like, oh, that's just too much work. So every morning. I write in it. I've missed a couple of mornings, but I'd work at it. And then this is the journal for my granddaughter, Sadie, that I write letters to her. Whenever we do something together, I write. So I started it, she was born December 3rd, 2011, and I started it March 20th, 2012. As you can see, it's really beat up. She used to get in here, as you can see, she scribbled in here when she was little, like two years old, and the book is falling apart in the front. But I um, have been doing, they're not long letters, sometimes they are, and so far I have, I'm up to here, so I'm, I'm quite a ways through it, and I still have a ways to go. So that's the ones that aren't housed in um, actual TNs. So let's start with my Foxy Fix collection. I love Foxy Fix, and I love without pockets. I like just the plain cover and I have two standards uh, one I think this is a called a personal and uh, my passport now my very first one was my passport and this is my very first traveler's notebook ever I just wanted to try it out um, and see what I thought I can see I've got to replace this elastic very soon because look at it and I use it constantly but this has patinaed Wonderful. All my Foxy Fixes are like this. That's what I prefer, no pockets. And then I buy these clips, these brass clips with the leather pin holders online at Amazon. And this one, um, I found this at TJ Maxx, and I, it's for a passport, but I really liked the firmness of the cover, so I put it in here. Um, and this is a dashboard. Uh, from Little Magical Art, which she isn't doing anything anymore, but I've got some dashboards from her. And just some other little pocket things. And this is to write event um, shopping in. It's just a shopping list, and I'm actually finishing up using this shopping list because, as you can see, I've pretty much gone through it, and I've just got a few things, and it's almost done. This is one of my dashboards of my flower girls in my shop and I have different any size really that you want I can do um, I really need to advertise because <laughs> I'm not very good about advertising this one is um, for notes um, like books things I look for in thrift stores this one is for my wish my crafting wish list which I need to go through because I probably 
got some of these things already and I can take them off the list. And that's all that this one is. And I this goes in my purse. And um, I love it. I just love this one so much. I just love the way it's patinaed. And it actually started out like this one right here and this one. So you can see this one is still, the it's still going. Um, it's still got a little bit of the original texture where this one is totally smooth. And now this one I just got, and you can see that um, it, I haven't even started using it hardly. So anyway, let's go to the next workhorse, and that's my crafting one. And this one I use for all of my craft crafting journaling stuff. So I have some cards in here, um, some information, and I have this book is my monthly tracker for Happy Mails. So whenever, I used to track other things in here, but then I switched to just when I get Happy Mails and when I send them out is what I'm using it for now. And some months are busy and some months are not busy. It really depends. Um, here's another one of my dashboards. And this is a double one, so there's flower girls on both sides. This dashboard is another one from little magical art and like I said she's not doing this anymore um, and this is my creative weekly planner what I'm actually only using it for at this point now is when I do a YouTube and as you see I do lots and lots of YouTubes almost every day um, it goes in there and I used to do like a lot more planning uh, and then I got lazy and I haven't been doing that as much and I want to get back into doing it maybe a little bit different this is for planning YouTube content, journaling ideas, so I have different sections, and I haven't done a lot of planning, just some ideas and stuff. Here's another one of my flower girl. This is actually, oh, I should put this in here. This is the size for this one. This is a personal size. I'm gonna take her out and put her in there. Um, and uh, Happy Mail plans and stuff is in this one so yeah this is my creative journaling workhorse um, this one I just got and I've decorated it and I'm going to be using this every single day constantly um, because this is really uh, for my everyday life things that I must remember etc let me see if this isn't too big Oh, it's a little too big. Okay, well that's not for this one then. Let's put her back where she was. But anyway, this one, I believe it's a personal um, size, if I am correct about that. And i got to figure out where to stack these so I can still get out my other ones. And so I just started this. Um, I've got like what has to be done or appointments, that sort of thing. And the Scrapping Wonders design team videos, um, I have several I really need to work on. So there's a lot of clips and things. I got this from somebody and I have in the front, I have this that I got from a friend. I have uh, more uh, this one is from Little Magical Art. This is one is from a friend of mine. And this is from another friend of mine. And this is more of a pocket thing. And I just keep my sticky notes in here for use. And so then this is going to be, this is more for bullet journaling, for lists of books and movies and different things like that. And this one uh, here is going to be for things that absolutely I need to get done. And then when as I do them, I can come and check them off my list. For instance, I did just do this of letting the ladies know so I can take that off my list. And then these are things that I, I send myself emails and then my email, my email is just getting crazy and I had to finally get it off of here <laughs> off of my emails and get it into this book and so this book I'm gonna is gonna be by my side constantly it's gonna go to work with me um, here's another one that somebody made for me and uh, yeah so this is definitely 
you see I'm going with the blue theme here. This baby will be with me at work, and when I'm not at work, it's gonna be by my side at my chair. This one you probably seen recently. This is a Foxy Fix, and it's got a really smooth thing, and this beautiful bookmark charm thing is from my friend um, Pramita in India. And this is my nature and camping journal, and I've shown this. So when I camp, I do, I put the brochure for the park in here, I make a pocket, and then I write about the day and I do collaging. So that was one trip, and then this was another trip we just took last weekend. And same thing, you know, I have the brochure, and then we're going um, this weekend, and I'll do more, and that's what I'm doing. This one I decided, uh, my friend Sylvia in France made this for me, and I decided um, I was gonna put like, press things in here, like this is a uh, clover, and so I'll probably do some more things like that. This is my camping log. Um, this is super easy. This is just a simple calendar thing. The whole camping trip spreads across and there's just pertinent information about where we camped, what the weather was like, what things cost, uh, who we were with. And then this is a nature journal that my dear friend Sylvia from France made for me and it's beautiful. And I started working in it this last camping trip and I did do a flip of this so I'm not going to flip through the whole thing again but you can see I'm using it so whenever I go on camping trips this goes with me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right the next thing I have um, let's go to these. Now these are my Fabridories. Now this one my daughter made for me. It's an owl. She made one for a friend of mine too. Um, so I just have a charm on it and I have a bookmark. And this one is for writing and stories and such. So this, uh, my friend Tina made this for me. She's also from India. So I'm going to be using this for writing stories and things. Um, maybe poetry. I might actually just do my poetry in here. I want to use this for some uh, um, spiritual blog posts, maybe sermons, that sort of thing. I just have this notebook in here because I'm going to use it for something. Um, actually, I think I'll take it out and use it for church notes, come to think of it. This is for flower girl stories, and this is for, uh, like I said, flower girl. Let's see. Poetry, spiritual, flower girl, and I think I might use this for some other um, short story ideas. I really like to write and I don't take the time to write as much as I really want to and should, but uh, there you go. Okay, so I have that. Maybe I'll stick this back in here. I haven't decided if I was gonna use this for like social media posts or something, I don't know. All right, so there's that. And I'll put that up here. And then I have these two. This was the first Fabridori I bought. I believe I bought it from Dixie Dory. And I love these pom-poms. And I've shown this one before. This one just has two inserts. It has, this is for drawing and doodling, and I have a board in here for when I do that. So I started like my flower girls um, in, in here. And then this one is just for, I don't know, just for journaling some art journaling where I'm just like working through something difficult or not something precious and so I just go in here and I journal about it and it's a very random I don't use it a lot but every once in a while I'll just pop in here and toss something in here and yeah makes it interesting you know it's just something different that I like to do so that, I have that, and then um, I have this one from Sincerely Inked, and I looked in her shop and she does have this one back in stock, for those of you who really like it, because I know some of you do. My friend Pramita in India made this. 
And in here I keep several things. I, she, Pramita made me a couple of things and I put them in here. She made me this watercolor journal, which I have not used yet because I'm still figuring out exactly what I want to do with it. And she's left me room to do my own watercoloring and such. So I'm, I'm still thinking about this one. And then she did this for me and she did this journal for me. And I have started in this journal. I was thinking I did another page, but this was a page about for me and me. And then I did a little bit here. And then I decided to go through and prep the whole journal. So I prepped it all for working in. I've done some here too. So I haven't totally figured out. I think this would probably be a journal about, you know, my um, virtual friendships. Because they are the ones, the friendships I have with the ladies in the journaling groups on the journaling group on, online are really special. And so I feel really blessed. This is just from a folder. And it seemed to go really well with this cover. So yeah, so some of these, I don't use my journal, all my journals all the time. I have like my workhorse ones that yes, I use those all the time. But the others, I just go into on occasion. So like I said, now I have, uh, I have these, these are my Webster Pages Color Crush Notebooks. This, I think, was the second one I ever got, and I love this one so much. And this is my, this and this and this are all spiritual. And I think I'm going to make this into a spiritual one as well, because I've got it all set up, but I haven't, like, figured it out totally yet. So I'm just leaving it there while I'm thinking about it. Like now I've got it set up, but now I've got some other ideas. So that one is still kind of a mystery. Well, this one um, is a Patricia Nash. Uh, I think it's an Italian leather. And uh, the only thing I put in here is I lead, I lead a woman's prayer, some prayer studies. And when we do prayer requests, I just write the prayer requests in here that we all give so that we can pray for each other. This Color Crush is my spiritual one that I use a lot. Um, this affect every single day. This is uh, grateful, like uh, gratitude. This one is my prayer requests. Um, and so I write prayer requests on one side, answers on the other. And I'm almost ready to start a new, a new one. This is just a piece of vellum. This is a scripture writing. I write one scripture a day and pray it. So I have quite a few done already in here. And then this one is prayer quotes, quotes of uh, about prayer. So, and that's what I do. And there's just some other little things. This is a Pilot Metro fountain pen, which I really love. I have a purple one too. This is also a spiritual journal, but this is for different things. This is for, uh, here's some more like acetate. This one is spiritual journaling about different things I'm going through spiritually. So a little bit of art journaling and then other stuff. And then this one is about grace because that's what I've, is this year is a year of grace. That was my word for this year. I think it's gonna be my word for next year. These are scriptures that speak to me. So when I'm, mostly when I'm on a trip and I'm reading scripture, then I start delving into it and writing notes so that if I ever wanna do any writing about it or maybe someday teach or a sermon, um, I have these notes in here of where a verse has taken me. So it's kind of a Bible study, a Bible study thing. So yeah, that I enjoy doing very much. And then this is quotes, spiritual quotes um, that I come across in books and stuff that I read that mean a lot to me. I wanna remember, you know, maybe I'll use them in something else. And then this one that I said I just wasn't sure what to do with it, and I'm still I'm still battling. I had this cute little card someone made me. I got a dashboard again by um, Magical Art, Little Magical Art, and this one is also by her. 
And I've got a bunch of things in here because I was going to use it for planning. I am not a planner. I, I try. I try. I try. I try. I cannot do it. So I've given up on it and I'm going to take these out and use them for something else. I'm going to take all this planning stuff out. Take this out. And I'm going to use this for something else. Um, and I don't know what yet. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking... I think I might just continue with it as a spiritual thing, just because I've already got these two are spirit are my faith journals. Um, I'll, I might just keep in the same frame of mind and use this as a faith journal. I'm just not sure. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy, but you know, it's just something I'm going to keep out and I'm going to kind of work on in my mind how I want to use it. So anyway, that is all that. Um, I don't think I need to show anything else in this video. It's probably getting long, and I want to get on to some other taping I need to do this afternoon. But, you know, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and like I said, I need one more. I need the B6 uh, because I have... I've got to find a good B6 on the buy and sell group. Because I have all these B6s. I've got four of them all from Scrapping Wonders, and this is a glue book in here. Just started that. This one is a book for motivation, I believe. Motivation. This one, which I have not decorated the cover yet, is for uh, watercoloring, and so I did do a little bit. And this one, of course, I just showed is uh, journaling, and it's just ugh, taking this off. It's not sticking. It looks nice. It's coming apart. And it's not needed. I just did it as decoration. Oops. And uh, obviously, it is just not sticking. So I'm not going to force myself to use it. Of course it's sticking right here. It wasn't sticking anywhere else. So, <laughs> But yeah, so I really want um, a B6 to hold these four. And I'm actually going to look at some Fabridories, I think, for this instead of the Foxy Fix that I usually would tend toward. Um, I think I'll see if I can find a B6 in a Fabridori on Etsy because I like this. There's one on the buy and sell group, but it's um, kind of American colonial, and so it's not really my style. So I guess I'll just go look and see what I can find because I really want to get these in something. Okay, I think that's all for today on my little rambling about journaling. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye.